Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this drop text animation in After Effects. So let's get started. Okay, guys, let's create a new composition and let's name this drop text animation. And I will go with full HD resolution and 24 frames per second. As always, let's give it 10 seconds and hit OK. Now let's go to toolbar and select this uh, vertical type tool. And I will type drop as a text. You guys can type whatever you want. And I will use the line tool to align it to the center. Now let's separate these letters. So select this right click, create, uh, create shape from text. This will create a shape. Now go to uh, content. As you can see, we have uh, four letters, but we need uh, all the letters in a separated layer. So let's duplicate this four times. Let's keep only one letter per layer, okay? In this case, uh, I will only keep P and delete the rest of the letters. Let's go to the other one and keep the O and delete the rest. I will keep doing this to the other layers as well. Let's also name this. This one is a D. Now select all these layers and press Ctrl Alt Home on the keyboard. This will reset the anchor point. Now uh, let's hit P. It will bring position properties. Now go to one second forward. Now select all the position properties and right click. Select this separate dimension. This will give us uh, X and Y positions. For this one, I will only use Y position. So let's select all the Y position of these properties. Now create a keyframe. Go to zero second and let's bring it up. Something like this. Now select all these keyframes. Press F9. It will easy ease. Now go to graph editor. Now I will use this uh, value graph. Okay. If you have a speed graph, make sure you uh, connect it to value graph. I will select these keyframes and set the curve like this. Let's also bring this curve something like this. I will also give some different adjustment to the layers. As you can see. Now we have a drop animation. But we need to offset. So let's go to 6 frame forward and bring this keyframe here. Now go to 12 frame forward. Let's drag it here and go to 18 frame forward. Bring this keyframe here. Okay. Now you should have a simple dropping animation like this. Go to 3 second and press N. It will in the comp here. Now I have uh, this expression. I will put this expression link in the description. You guys can copy and paste. This will add a browns expression to the animation. So now go to Y position and press Alt on a keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon. It will bring expression properties. Now press Ctrl V. It will paste it. Okay. Now if we check the animation. As you can see, we have a little overshoot animation. Let's copy this to the other as well. So let's select this one, right click, copy expression only. Now select this one and press Ctrl V and do the same for the rest of the layers. Now if we check this animation, as you can see, now we have a simple drop in animation. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's close this up. Select all these uh, text layers and right click pre-compose and I will call this drop text. Let's hit OK. This will pre-compose. Now we can uh, give some gradient effect. So search for gradient ramp effect. As you can see pretty cool. Now press this swap colors option. This will reverse the color. You guys can uh, also pay with the sliders. Also if you need different colors you can give it. Okay but I will stick with the white color for this one. Now also search for bevel alpha effect. This will add this nice highlight to the text. As you can see, pretty cool. Now if we check this animation, as you can see, we have a cool drop in animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys like this and learn something new. If you have any question, don't forget to ask in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.